Hey guys, it's your Tar Girl Mary and welcome back to my channel. For today's video guys, gagawin ko ulit yung ginawa ko previously na a day in a life wherein gumamit ako ng smartphone. And to be specific nga, Vivo V17 Pro naman this time yung gagamitin ko. The last time I was using the Oppo Reno 2 and don't worry guys, I'll be doing a comparison video between the Vivo V17 Pro and the Oppo Reno 2 specifically sa cameras and video nila. But for now, we will focus more on the Vivo V17 Pro. So, if flash ko guys ang vlog at the end of this part, kasi guys, gusto ko mo lang magbigay ng tips and tricks about the Vivo V17 Pro. Kung ano nga ba yung mga na-realize ko or na-realize? Or yung mga natuklasan ko sa smartphone na to. Actually, medyo madami-dami sila. And if you are a user of the Vivo V17 Pro or you are planning on buying the Vivo V17 Pro this Christmas, ganyan, this is the perfect video for you. Dito nyo talaga malalaman na ginagamit ko yung smartphone. Kasi ang dami kong natutuklasan sa kanya. Kaya na yung ipang tao, hindi nila alam na may ganun palang feature sa phone na yun. Sa mga hindi pa nakakaalam, you can actually change the sound of the motorized pop-up camera. So again guys, we have four options for the camera pop-up sound. Pwede nyo i-mute kung ayaw nyo na walang sound. Kung gusto nyo low-key lang, we have sci-fi. Ito yung narinig nyo kanina. Machine. Rhythm. Next guys, may secret pala to have more beautiful photos. Kung mapapansin nyo mamaya sa sample photos natin doon sa A Day in a Life, naka-turn on lagi yung HDR mode ko. And to do that, tatap nyo lang siya kung gusto nyo i-turn off at itatap nyo lang ulit kung gusto nyo gamitin. Again, yung main camera ng Vivo V17 Pro is 48 megapixels. Pero, yung pinaka-auto niya guys is 12 megapixels only. To use the 48 megapixels, punta kayo guys sa more. And then, makikita nyo doon guys sa pinaka-taas, sa pinaka-left, nandun yung 48 megapixels. And we can finally use the 48 megapixels. But disclaimer lang po, we cannot use the 48 megapixels sa night mode or sa ultra wide camera niya. Do take note po na mataas yung memory niya. So, ayun, pag medyo mahirap isend yung file, ibig sabihin 48 megapixels yung ginamit nyo. And sa mga hindi po nakakaalam pala, you can actually rearrange this part. Sa may bandang more guys, punta kayo sa edit sa pinaka upper right niya. And all you have to do is drag guys kung ano yung usually yung ginagamit nyo. For example, the 48 megapixels. Idadrag nyo lang siya doon para kapag bumalik kayo doon sa pinaka camera menu, dali nyo siyang ma-access. So if you are into more live photo, drag nyo lang din siya dyan guys. And then if tapos na kayo, just click done. And then ayan guys, punta kayo sa camera menu mismo makikita nyo yung dinagdag natin. Na 48 megapixels, nandun na siya. And the live Photos. So, mas mabalis na siyang i-access ngayon kaysa pupunta pa tayo sa more. Also guys, sa mga hindi nakakaalam pala, we have different ways to capture photos. All you have to do is, again, punta kayo sa settings and then go to shutter. So, meron tayong tatlong ways. We have touch, voice, and palm. Unahin natin yung touch. Para makapag-picture tayo guys, hindi nyo na kailangan pindutin tong bilog sa pinakailalim. All you have to do is focus and kusa siya mag-shutter. So, pwede kayong pumindot, guys, sa screen, anywhere, basta dun lang sa camera area. Next thing that we will be trying, guys, is yung voice. For example, we can say cheese, tapos kusa siya mag-take ng photo. Let's turn it on. Cheese! Say cheese! Yan, guys. Medyo may delay lang siya ng 1.5 seconds to 2 seconds, pero... At least, it works. Lastly, guys, is yung palm. All we have to do is itaas yung ating palm para mag-capture siya. Let's do it. Next, guys, I'll be teaching you naman on how I usually take screenshots using the Vivo V17 Pro. I actually have three ways to do that. Unang-unang way, guys, kung paano ka mag-screenshot is sabay nyo lang pipindutin yung power button and yung volume down para makapag-screenshot tayo. This is probably the easiest way. And another way to take a screenshot, guys, is gamitin yung tatlo yung fingers ng sabay pataas para makapag-screenshot. And lastly, another way to do screenshot is yung tinatawag na long screenshot. For example, 
meron kayong gustong screenshot na mahaba. Like for example, yung IG feed nyo, gusto nyo ipakita lahat ng photos. After we ate, guys, sa Mary Grace, pumunta naman kami sa Uniqlo. Nag-shopping yung parents ko for Christmas. Parang yearly ginagawa namin to. Especially para sa kanila. Sila lang yung pinag-shopping ko. So, nag-enjoy naman sila. And nag-enjoy rin ako, guys, sumakay sa wheelchair ng nanay ko. Kasi alam niyo yung mas napagod pa ako kisa sa kanila kasi grabe ang tibay nila. And then after we went shopping, inuwi ko muna sila, guys. And then umalis naman kami ni Jason. We went naman to Pavilion Mall to pamper ourselves. Nagpa-manicure and pedicure lang kami. And I'm very happy, especially Jason, kasi makakapagpa-foodspa na kami. Kasi ang tagal na nung huli namin kasi sobrang busy nga. And after namin, guys, magpa-pamper, paglabas namin ang ganda kasi may mga Christmas decors na pala outside na mall. So we took a few photos. I'll be flashing as well the photos. <laughs> So ayun guys, very short lang yung video. I hope nag-enjoy kayo sa tips and tricks ko. And also, the a day in a life using the Vivo V17 Pro. It's your tag girl Mary and see you on my next video. Bye guys!